Hello, and welcome back to Soul Search Sunday with Johnny Tiger on July 9, 2023. And look, it is my mom's birthday. So even though I know my mom never check out my Soul Search Sunday, I mean, she grew up with me. She brought me into this world, so uh, there's not a heck of a lot I can talk about that she wouldn't feel that it's old story and it's uh, nonsense. But hey, that's okay. That's just how parents are, right? Sometimes we just have to come to the fact that uh, parents are not perfect and they are uh, quite often uh, have their faults and they are quite often wrong. That's okay. We love them anyway. So happy birthday, mom. Even though I know you won't watch this, but happy birthday anyway. How is that for our weekly passive aggressive behavior? <laughs> um, we often hear people talk about, uh, especially nowadays, nowadays we hear a lot of these self-help uh, videos, self-help books, self-help quotes that say something like, if you want to be successful, then hang out with successful people. Uh, if you want to be smart, then you gotta hang out with smart people. Now, while uh, a lot of time that may sound like very cold, uh, uh, cruel, uh, one-sided, one-dimensional kind of advice, especially when you think about friendship, there's usually a kind of a knee-jerk reaction like, well, crap, does that mean that I'm only making friends so I can use them? Does that mean that I, I'm only making friends because they're smarter than I am and I want to be like them? And we all know that generally doesn't work quite as easily as it sounds. Otherwise, most of us should just go become friends with Elon Musk or Donald Trump and then we'll be as rich as they are uh, by next time, uh, ne uh, this time next year, right? No, it doesn't work that way, right? But maybe some people do, maybe for some people, you know, I don't know if any of you is uh, friends with Donald Trump or uh, Musk or uh, Bill Gates and uh, you become millionaires and you become just like them, please uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. And let me know. Um, God, I'm just like full of passive aggressive behavior today. Anyway, <laughs> um, while there are a lot of uh, wrongness to statements like that, there is a similar statement uh, that has been uh, practiced and preached widely in Chinese culture for thousands of years that uh, I want to talk about today. And it's going to sound very similar uh, in the beginning. But if you stay with me, you will see that this actually has a roundabout logic and a hidden bit of beautiful wisdom at the very end. What I'm talking about, uh, this piece of advice given to people with regarding to friendship for thousands of years in Chinese culture, is that only make friends with people who are better than yourself. Again, uh, I don't know about you, but the first time I heard this advice, I had this knee-jerk reaction to say this is bullshit, this is crap, this is nonsense. Why? Because it initially when you look at it, it, it just doesn't sound like a good way to go about making friends. So, like what? I when I want to be friends with someone, I got to see if they're better than me first. That doesn't sound... I should be friends with someone because I like them. I should be friends with someone because I want to be uh, friends with someone because I like to spend time with them. Not, not because they're better than me. While it is good to be friends uh, because you like a person, and there's definitely nothing wrong with that, uh, quite often... These are not 
mutually exclusive condition. You can like someone, and they can be better than you. Uh, but uh, rather than me trying to give you reasons why uh, it can be advantageous being a friend with someone better than you, uh, let me start off by going through a few reasons uh, why it might be detrimental, why this might be kind of negative uh, for you to be friend with someone who is lesser than you. I think that's a good way to start. Now, I know that right now, some of you watching this, you have a million things in your head that you want to say. And one of those things that many of you are thinking about is, this, this is so extreme. This is so uh, subjective. Um, what do you mean by someone better, someone lesser? Everyone, no one is better than me. No one is lesser than me. We are all equal. You know it. I know it. That does that thing about everybody is equal. It's only it sounds good on the intellectual level. It sounds good on the emotional level, and there's nothing wrong with it on the spiritual level. But when it comes to practicality and physical, that's crap. Okay, there's going to be someone who's better at dancing than you are. There's going to be someone who can't cook as good as you are. Uh, you can, and uh, there's someone who way richer than you are, and there's going to be someone who's way more poorer than you are. So we are no, we are not all equal when it comes to the physical, material plane, and so uh, trying to impose that spiritual, emotional side of things. Uh, that say by saying that we should be all equal, no one's better, no one's less. All that does in the end is muddy in the water unnecessarily. Just give me a bit of your time, and we'll untangle this relatively simplistic view on friendship. Like I said, we'll start by looking at why it can be bad for you being a friend with people who's lesser than you. The first reason uh, why becoming friend with someone lesser than yourself can be quite problematic is that a lot of time you will end up carrying their weight. Now, once in a while, it's okay, but uh, it, the real life is very difficult for most of us financially. Uh, emotionally, work, family, and all that stuff. Reality is harsh. Everybody got their own load to bear. Now, while it sounds like Leon, lean on me, or uh, he ain't heavy, he's my brother, it's nice to think that, hey, you know, when, when something happened, I'm ready to bear the load of my friend. But what if all your friends are lesser than you? What if not just one, not just two, but three or four of your friends lesser than you. They all need something from you. You won't be able to function after a while. So the cruel reality, the cruel fact of it is that if you make a habit of becoming friend with someone lesser than you, then you will be pulling more of their weight and your own weight. And this, in the long run, is not a good way uh, to reach success or happiness or any of those good things that we're looking for in life. So this is one of the biggest reasons why it can be problematic being friend with someone who is lesser than you, is you will end up having to uh, pull their weight in addition to your own weight. Number two, when you are friends uh, uh, with people lesser than yourself, you will quite often run into some hidden emotional BS, some hidden emotional backstabbing, backlashes, uh, uh, undercurrent of things that you personally might not be aware of, uh, but your friend being not as rich as you are, they are going to feel they they might feel envious, they might feel resentment. Your friend who uh, don't live as much as you do, 
they might feel uh, jealous of the kind of attention you get. Your friends, who are not as beautiful as you are, going to secretly wish that you would trip over and hit your face on the uh, step someday and uh, uh, ruin your beautiful face. There are a lot of these vicious undercurrent that we might not be privy to at the time when we are uh, friend with people lesser than ourselves. Envy is true. Jealousy is true. These things exist. And while these friends may be uh, very nice to you when they are in, 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 uh, in your face, when they are in, uh, with you in person, you don't know how they actually feel about you. And just speaking from personal experience, no one likes to feel inferior all the time, right? No one likes to feel uh, ugly or fat or uh, clumsy or useless all the time. So if your friends are lesser than you, eventually that's going to be what they feel. And that's when that friendship can very quickly turn into animosity. And the scary part is a lot of time, the people in the picture, uh, you or I, wouldn't know when that change happened uh, until they suddenly stab you in the back. Uh, uh, I'll give you just like one quick example. Okay, this is just really recent. Uh, one of my best, best friends, he has a son that is about my age, and this son uh, and my friend, they just recently had a big argument. And the son basically tell, uh, tell his dad, uh, my friend, uh, he, he uh, said, uh, you are an a-hole, you are inconsiderate, you are uh, self-centered, uh, and uh, basically call him any kind of name under the sun. And my friend asked him, what did I do, uh, what did I do to you? I fed you, I clothed you, I tried to teach you everything I know. I when you don't when you don't have money, I give you money to pay rent. What is it that you hate about me so much? His son said something that really dumbfounded him, shocked him, hurt him at the time, and it floored me when my friend told me this is what his son said. His son looked him in the eye and he said, you know what pissed me off the most about you is that everywhere we go, everybody like you. Why can't they like me? Why do you have to be better? Yeah, this is a son with a father. So what do you think that friends of yours that are lesser than you would feel? So yeah, being friends well, being friend with people lesser than you can be very problematic when you are not uh, alert to this undercurrent, this hurt feeling, this bad feeling in their heart. Third, uh, and the last one uh, that I'll mention, last but not least, a lot of time there are people who go out of their way to be friend with lesser, people lesser than they, they are. Some of them do it for charity. They feel that they are doing good deeds for bearing someone else's load. But don't be mistaken. Just because you are charitable doesn't mean that they won't turn around and hate you. Your friends won't feel good if they keep owing you favors, if they keep feeling inferior to you. Eventually, that feeling of being indebted to you can turn into hatred and come back and bite you on the butt. Uh, we talked about that before, about how to be a good person, how to be a good guy. Uh, sometimes when you do a good deed in the wrong way, it can really backfire, even though you did it with the best of intention in the world. Uh, but more so, some people go out of their way to be friends with lesser people, to make themselves feel important. You know, it's like, yeah, you you might be the the you, you might be very weak, but if you make friends with a whole bunch of people uh, that only have one leg, then you will be the king in the uh, 
ass kicking contest, right? Just like a, a, a really bad、uh, analogy off the top of my head. Excuse me, those of you who are in wheelchair or、uh, disabled,、uh, I know that one probably stings a little bit,、uh, and I apologize for that. It just、uh, it, it's one of the quickest example I can come up with for this. So some people will do that. They, they will be friends. They they will go out of their way to make friends with people lesser than they are, not as smart, not as rich, so they can flaunt their power. They can flaunt their superiority. But、uh, here is our third reason why you don't want to、uh, always make friends with people lesser than you. You will not get anywhere. You will not grow. You will not develop as a person if you are friends with someone who's lesser than you, and they already think you are the king of the mountain. Then you are comfortable being the king of this small mountain. You'll you'll be the biggest fish in this very small pond. You are not going to. Struggle. You're not going to push to get better. You're not going to try to develop your skills. You're not going to find new opportunities, and this will eventually lead to stagnation of your、uh, development, your personal career, your、uh, personal emotional states.、Uh, that can be very, very dangerous.、Uh, very dangerous place to get trapped in.、Uh, not to mention. Uh, if you are already like, if if you are not very good at、uh, building a house,、uh, and then you go out of your way to make friends with people who are like, like suckier than you, then you know, I guess no house will ever get built because they can do it, and you're not that good at build,、uh, doing it yourself. So、uh, it's not just it's not going to get done. So、uh, the third. Last final、uh, reason why it's a bad idea to make friends with people lesser than you is that you will not grow as a person.、Uh, you will not get new opportunities, and just things will not get done. Now we'll look at、uh, reasons why it's a good idea to be friends with people、uh, who are better than you are. So we had three reasons why it's a bad idea to be、uh, friends with people、uh, lesser than you. I I don't even need three reasons、uh, for the other side of the coin. I'll just give you two, and you can、uh, figure out if these two reasons sound good enough, sound like、uh, valid enough reason why you should、uh, try to be friends with people better than you. Reason number one: building off. Of our last statement, the last reason why it's a bad idea to be friends with people lesser than you, which is you will not grow, you will not improve. So the first reason, obviously, then to be friends with someone better than you are is that you will improve, you will grow, you will get better opportunity. For example, me as a martial artist, if I go out of my way to only be friends with people lesser than me, people who are not as good at martial arts as I am, yeah, great, I can teach them. That's cool, but I will never grow as a martial artist because every time I spar with them, I'll be able to kick their butt with two arms tied behind me, which means that in ten years' time. Rather than staying still, staying where I am, my martial art will actually start to stagnate, and my martial art ability will start to drop down. My my, I will start to lose my edge. So the only way, uh, for any martial artist to improve as a martial artist, is to be friends with someone, uh, better than themselves, so they can spar with them. So they can learn new tricks. So they can experience defeat and stand up and learn to improve and get better through those experiences.、Uh, I can go on and on with the different scenarios. It, you, it's the same thing. If you want to learn computer programming, if you want to be a musician, if you're just friends with people who are lesser than you, you will never be able to get better at what you do. The only way to get better. Is to talk to and to copy from to learn from、uh, people better than you、uh, yourself at it. 
uh, so that that is very very important uh, right now uh, this year I have been trying to uh, get my toes wet uh, in the art world and I have been so fortunate to meet a couple of people uh, that uh, I would like to call them friends and they uh, know so much more about how s things are done, how to apply for grants, how to fill out application, where the opportunities are. They are so much better than I am uh, at this. And I'm so grateful. I don't feel any problem being friends with them because I can, I, I can learn so much from these people. If I just make friends with people who don't do art or don't do uh, art as good as I do, or people who just all they want to do is tell me how beautiful my art is, then I won't get anywhere. So this is one of the biggest reasons why you want to be friends with people better than you yourself, because that is the only way uh, for you to be able to grow and develop and find new opportunities. The second reason why it's important to make friends with people better than you are is that friendship, like money, like bullets, like supplies, like food, friendship is a kind of resource and probably one of the most important kind of resource that you will need in your lifetime. When there's an emergency, if you have the right kind of friend, then you know who to call on if the, the, the plumbing need to be fixed. You call George. If the electricity that need to be fixed, you call Mike. If uh, there's a suddenly a, a, a zombie apocalypse and you need a lot of weapons that, uh, really quickly and someone to teach you how to use them, you call Johnny Tiger. So being friend with the right kind of people will give you that kind of resource uh, and make your life so much easier in the long run. Look, life is already very difficult, uh, very tedious, and anything you can do to make your life a little bit better in the long run is a good thing. Uh, and choosing the right kind of friend is vitally important in this case. Uh, this is why it, it's important to make friends with someone better than you are, so you have resources that you it can actually be useful. Like if you just have friends that get drunk and uh, get high all the time, they are they don't do anything better than you. They just all they do is sit at home watch TV and they don't they don't have any skills. They don't have any uh, thing to offer you other than being honest and uh, uh, and loyal and uh, tell you how great you are all the time. Those friends are not very good resources. Uh, they might make you feel good now, but in the long term, when when your house burned down, uh, they won't be able to help you. Uh, when you need something fixed in your plumbing, they won't be able to help you. When you need to borrow money, they won't be able to help you. When you need someone to help you move furniture, they won't be able to help you. Uh, so this is really uh, the biggest, probably the most compelling reason why being friends with people be better than you is uh, vitally, vitally important, uh, is to accumulate that resource, which will help you not just now, not just tomorrow, but hopefully uh, through your whole life. Now let's look at the obvious, uh, the elephant in the room, uh, because I think most of you that are very intelligent, and most of you are, a lot of you are more intelligent than I am, you, most of you would have already wanted, you're dying to point this out to me. If we were ha having an actual conversation, you would have cut me off like two statements ago, and you, you would want to point this out, and you, you would probably say something like, well, yeah, but Johnny, Johnny, there's something wrong with this whole logic. Because if you want to be, uh, if everyone just want to be friends with people better than they are, friendship have to work both ways. So why would they want to be friends with me? 
if they are better than me, that means I'm lesser than they. They are. So if I want to be friend with George, because George is better than me, so why should George want to be my friend? If people just you know, want to be friend with、uh, people better than they are, it's a one. It turns into a one-way、uh, situation that doesn't get anywhere. And I would tell you, yes, you are right, but. This is where the hidden gem, the hidden, very beautiful side of this little bit of wisdom, come into play. Let me show it to you. Because you are right. If everybody should just be friends with people better than they are, then turn into a one-way ticket. It is turned into turned into one like a magnet, like one-sided magnet that doesn't get anything done. However, remember this: life is very rarely black and white. Just because someone is richer than you, doesn't mean that they are better than you in every other way. Just because someone is better at computer programming, doesn't mean that they know plumbing. Just because someone Who is a great martial artist doesn't mean that they know jack about how to give a massage and fix people up. So, before you go after that person, who you think is better than you and you want them to be your friend, your resource, ask yourself, what do I have to offer? Okay, so this is、uh, basically we just circle back to point zero. Before you figure out how is the person better than you, and、uh, before you figure out what they have to offer you, what how can you benefit from being their friend? Figure out first what do you have to offer them. Why should they be friend with you?、Uh, this person is super rich.、Uh, why should they be friend with me? What can I offer them in return? What do I have that they might want? And don't lie to yourself and get mired in that again, that emotional nonsense about, well, I'm loyal, I'm honest, I am steadfast, I am gorgeous, I'm lovable,、uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm、uh, easy to talk to.、Uh, no, <laughs> those are great. Those are great qualities, but. It's usually not enough, right? Like usually, if you want to be someone's friend, if you want someone to care about this friendship, the friendship, you need to have something more tangible, something more material, something more physical, uh, something, uh, to offer them, something that actually can benefit. You need to be able to offer them some kind of resource. Okay, this friendship being a good resource thing, it can have to go both way, not just one way, um. So, using my earlier example,、uh, if I need plumbing done, I need to call George, right? Because George is so much better than me; he actually knows how to do plumbing.、Uh, but if George need anything done on the computer, and advertise his business, and need someone who got a kick-ass YouTube channel and kick-ass podcast to advertise for him, then George need to call Johnny Tiger. Because Johnny Tiger happened to be a lot better at、uh, the PR stuff, at、uh, doing things on on social media. So this is just one quick example of how a beautiful friendship, how a complete friendship, a good long term friendship can be formed, is not just you think about who's better than you,、uh, and you want to be their friend and use them, but How can they use you? First, figure out what do you have to offer them. First, figure out what you are good at, and then work from that foundation. And then you will find that、uh, this idea of being friend with people better than you is not quite as crass or pointless or ridiculous as it first sounds. I hope that this will help you guys somewhere down the road, and I will be back again tomorrow. For some music Monday. For now, have a good night.